Is it kind of a almost like an irony that Muhammad Ali was here with you tonight, and of course your your commitment to Islam, that it seems as if the two of the most recognized Muslim uh, American fighters? I don't know. I just worry about my own salvation in Islam. Everybody carried their his, his Islam in different perspective. I just worry about my salvation. And if I can help anybody else in the process, it's great. You know? I'm, like I said, I'm a Muslim, but I'm not truly on the dean all the time. You know? There's some people are Christians, but they're not saved. You know? um, we all got to worry about our own, um, our own life and our own religion and our own salvation. And the truth. Yes. There's one last thing on a personal yeah. note. Uh, I really appreciate you signing the picture, the cover of the magazine with you and Amir on Esquire. That's my son's name as well. He's six years older than your son. That's one of the reasons why I him. So I really appreciate it. I'm glad I held on to that from 1999 because uh, that was a side of you that a lot of people didn't get a chance to see or, or take for granted. And I think that this is a situation no, no, as well. Father, how come everybody cares about what people think about me? No, no, but I'm just saying, though, know, I think that people made a, made a very, uh, the media has painted you in a very negative image. And no, you, and no, you're, I painted myself because I put myself in a position for them to paint me that way. You can't blame them. I used to blame them. That gave me a reason to fight. But that was all my fault. Trust me. I, put, I acted with it. couldn't paint that way unless I put myself in a position for them to paint me that way. Yeah, I appreciate that. So I'm like, thanks so much. Don't be sad, man. I'm not that way. Even when we meet as a problem. Mike? Yeah, Mike. Sit down this week from the Billy Murning. What do you think your legacy is going to be, Mike? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Shit. You write it. I don't know. The only thing that matters is what you guys think about it. What I think about it doesn't matter at all. Did the, did the, we genuinely, when you said you think that it was over as early as 1990, Mr. Douglas? Yeah. Seriously? You know, at that time I liked the lifestyle, I liked having the money, and I was pretty shallow. I liked having the money, and all the girls liked the money, so I had a good time. Most people did. Yeah. I've never been a money in the game. How you doing, Louis? <laughs> so that, that was the only reason you were fighting my game? Yeah, yeah and the lifestyle, yeah. I don't even live like that anymore. Being honest. I don't even live like that. I live in like a 1,700 square foot house. I bought a new house. They made, they made me buy a new house at 8,000 square foot. Oh, God, I got to sell that shit now. Um, Mike, what's your handle? Mike Mike. Oh, he's my man. I told you. That's my man. Oh, God. I forgot about that shit. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Man, I'm like, is it almost like a feeling of relief time for you? Because, thanks very much. How you doing, bro? Is uh, it like a feeling of relief, Mike, that it's all finally over? I don't know. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm not no sad. Like, everybody's like that. I don't like the damn swan song. Yeah, shit. I never had a swan song when I was fighting. I wasn't a damn swan song. You know what you feel me? Yeah. Keep it, you know, you have to be real with yourself. People like to remember that. But, you know, fans like to remember this. Right? That's not for you guys, because you were in the ring doing it. So, reminiscing for you, you know. Do you accept that though, like the fact a lot of people still love me and you give them a lot of money? No, no, I'm not that kind of guy. Let me ask you, let me ask you this though, even though you're being humble, did you, did you feel good to go in the arena tonight to hear that kind of thing? No, I hate that. Huh? I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that.
doing fly girl in town and stuff, and he's leaving. I totally changed my life. I don't even have the same friends I associate with no more. I don't associate with them no more. Did you I'm see? I'm smoking them on, drinking them on. I just don't feel I'm not that guy no more. And that's scary because sometimes you don't know who you are. I've changed overnight. I don't. I don't even know that guy that was in 18, 1986, all those knocks. I don't know that guy anymore. And that's just scary because I'm in, like, in that situation where who the fuck am I? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Transition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't believe I'm in that room. What the fuck am I doing? Who the fuck am I? Do you know what I'm saying? Really, truly, you know what I'm saying? In other words, like, what am I doing? Yeah, who am I? Yeah, who am I? Why do people call up this woman? I don't feel like I'm that guy anymore. I don't want to hurt anyone. Right, 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 right. I don't right, right. hurt anyone anymore. Right, right. It's all out of you. Yes. You know what happened to guys like that? I've known guys that have been front doors. I can't kill a man. I can't kill a man anymore. I don't kill animals anymore. Yeah. Guess what? They looked through a scope one day and they couldn't hurt anything. They've done it so much, they couldn't hurt anything. They stopped running. Yeah, yeah. I want to kill them. I want to never get up and kill them. I, I, I put no, but I wouldn't call that fuck. I, I, put, I put it in my life, my new goal. I'm not going to kill anything. No, they want to live. I don't kill bugs. I don't kill dirty pigs. They don't break their neck. I don't know how to do that. But I wouldn't say that fuck. I wouldn't say no, that fuck. No, it's fucked up because I'm Mike Tyson. I'm the book of it. You know what I mean? You know, you understand the stigma. I, yeah. And I still have that stigma, and I'm doing that person. I'm like, who the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> it's confusing. Thank you. Good luck in everything you do, man. Thank you very much. Trust your heart. Trust God, Allah, whoever else you do. Thank you very much. Yeah. You guys looking like I'm swans. I'm a hard cold one. I don't care. You once, you once told him to learn to lie. Like, hey, be well. Thank you very much.